Uh, uh, we'll get your name and title just again for the record. My name is Henry Taylor, flight engineer of the shuttle carrier aircraft. To be fair, spell out both names again. H-E-N-R-Y-T-A-Y-L-O-R. Tell us a little about this mission. What's, uh, what's it been like? Well, it's it's been a... Uh, you know, really exciting because it's the last one, but it's also kind of sad because it's, you know, the end of the program and the last time we'll ever get to do this. The last time the American public will get to see this amazing combination of vehicles and see us flying. There's a lot of history behind that. How long have you been involved with the, uh, with the program? I've been with NASA since 1979, and I've been flying on this airplane since 1988. Um, so kind of bittersweet day for you, I'm guessing. Yes, it is. You know, tomorrow we're going to uh, take it to uh, Los Angeles, and then I'll, they'll offload it, and then this airplane will go back to Edwards, and that'll be the last time it flies. So that's kind of a—it's really a sad time to, uh, you know, know it's going to be the end. What memories do you take home with you after after this is all said and done with? Well, the memories that I take home is is very special to see the folks that come out and, and see it and appreciate the program and and know that uh, the Space Shuttle program served the nation for 30 years very well. And for you being a part of this, what does that mean to you? Well, it's just kind of the cap of my career. It's been 30 something years of, of NASA service to the agency and to the country. And it's just special to be part of this final final mission. Let's talk about, about any of the challenges on the mission. I know weather was a, was a factor at one point. Um, Anything else that, that might have been a, a factor? No, the main thing is, is the weather and just the performance of, of taking off and getting to, to each place. As the temperature is warmer, it makes it harder to get uh, to fly from point to point. Do you think that helped build up anticipation for all the stops? I mean, lots of people out here all over the place. Uh, it's all over the internet, everything like that. Do you think that kind of helped build the anticipation? I'm sure the anticipation built is, is the weather delayed us a couple of days so that you know people could be more aware of what was going to happen and and it's just good to be able to uh, take the vehicle on its last hurrah and, and let people see it and I'm, I'm glad we got to stop here at Biggs for 30 years I flew uh, shuttle training aircraft here up at White Sands so it's I spent a lot of days in El Paso. Henry, yes. are you optimistic about the future of space exploration and NASA's role in it? Well I am, it's just going to be different, considerably different than it was in the past. Yes, sir. Yes. Even if it is the end of an era for the uh, shuttle program, I saw that on Zen 47 you have the Challenger and the uh, uh, Columbia. How is this significant in, in, in the sense of the uh, crews that they uh, pretty much gave their all for this uh, mission? How, how does this bear on you personally? Well, Challenger is the only uh, space shuttle orbiter that I didn't get to fly with on a 747. All the others have flown with. Uh, you know, it's kind of an honor to the uh, to the fallen folks and to the vehicles that that didn't make it. Uh, I was on the very first flight when we carried Endeavour on its first flight from Palmdale, so that was uh, it's kind of appropriate that I'd start do its first flight and its last flight. Did you ever meet some of the astronauts through the uh, shuttle? Oh yes, I've, I've, on the shuttle training aircraft, I flew and helped train every pilot who's ever flown a space shuttle. Any memories from that? Oh yes, I uh, did a lot of training, a lot of time away from home, a lot of uh, support of the mission, and it was uh, it was important to uh, to do that training so that folks could you know go into space and come back and and, and land the vehicle safely. And, and any stories that stick out in your mind? Um, just just a lot of a lot of pride and a lot of hard work. <laughs>